As you watch the video, listen for why we use histograms and what it shows us about variation. Biologists use graphs called histograms to show variation in populations of organisms. Let's look at a population of australopes to understand how histograms can show variation. If you look at the australopes, you can see that although they are all from the same population, they are all different from each other. They have different traits. For example, the australopes vary in color from yellow to green to blue, and they have different amounts of fur on their bodies. Their necks range from very short to very long. These are examples of variation in the australope population. If the population is broken into groups according to a single feature, such as the length of their neck, and they line up according to the trait of how long their necks are, we can see how many individuals have short necks and how many have medium, long, and very long necks. The lines of organisms are like bars in a graph. The taller the bar in the graph, the more organisms that have that neck length. This type of graph is called a histogram. This is the same histogram represented in a different way. It shows the same variation in neck length within the australope population. If the australopes are grouped by a different feature, the shape of the histogram will change. Now the australopes are lining up according to color. You could count how many australopes are each color by looking at every individual australope, one by one. But using the histogram is easier. One quick look shows that most of the australopes in this population are blue, some are yellow, and a small amount are green. Histograms help biologists understand the variation of traits in a population. They are also useful for comparing two or more populations or for investigating how populations change over time. Hopefully that video helped add to your understanding of three more important words, variation, distribution, and histogram. Variation is any difference in traits between individual organisms. You saw lots of variation of the australopes, right? There are different colors, they have different neck lengths. All of those things are differences in their traits. Distribution is the number of individuals with each trait in a population. So when we look at the distribution of our australopes color, we can see most of them are blue, many of them are yellow, and very few of them are green. And our final important word for today, histogram. So a histogram is a graph that uses bars to show how characteristics or values are distributed within a group. It's much easier to look at changes in populations if you can visually represent what the population looked like before and what it looked like afterwards. We'll use histograms a lot to show variation in populations.